good? It's your boy, Trust Who, man. Make sure you go to www.trusthoodabrand.com. I'm in here. You already know who I'm in here with, man. It's Tricky Visions, man. Just holla at your boy. First spot I know, like that I remember, is is, is being on Sherwood. That's like a Memorial area. Uh, I ten I ten uh, West, <clears throat> and then that's like that's like young boy, like super young. And then went from there to the Southwest was it? Uh, Kirkwood and Bel Air area. Um, and then from there, I went up to uh, Pennsylvania. It's like a little spot right outside of Philly called Morton. <clears throat> In between, yeah, it's like it's like uh, it's like in between Darby, it's like Darby, Sharon Hill area. Okay. Um. Uh, like Delaware County type. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I, I figured that when you mm. said when you said Delaware, because how far it is from Philly you know? Uh on the in the car it's like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. Same thing, you know what I mean? On the train it's like about twenty. Oh, okay. Maybe it, it might be a little might be a little shorter, just uh <clears throat> just depending on uh you know where you at. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but but yeah, I went from was was there, but it's like a uh, I ain't gonna say the only black town, but it's a it's a it's a rich, like rich in in, in history. You know what I'm saying? Um, when I moved up there, the the uh, the bus that I went to school on was was the same bus route that. That the black people from that neighborhood took when when they did uh when they first got integrated. Damn, that's tough. Sort of the same, like we was still. Yeah, we we was still <clears throat> we was still. That's like ninety eight, I guess, like ninety seven, ninety eight. Mm. We was still the only blacks. Like when I lived there, the school that I went to, we coming in from. Morton, we was still the only blacks that went to that school. Damn. That's crazy. That's crazy. Crazy. Yeah, that's 
You know what I'm saying? Crazy, crazy. Crazy, crazy. You know what I mean? But you know, uh, being being there, that was my first real. I got I got a I got a taste of like everything right. because I got to get, I got to go to school and then I that was my first interaction with like real white people you know what I'm yeah. saying and then I got to go home and be around nothing but niggas you yeah. feel what I'm saying and 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 that was good because like the best of both worlds yeah <clears throat> yeah you feel what I'm saying it was dope. Uh, yeah, and then, you know, we came back to Houston when I was, like, 15. I got kicked out, and, uh, you know, I was on the borough, St. Greenspan, and me, uh, my pop stayed on the borough. No borough, to those, yeah, yeah, he no said borough. the borough, he's talking about no borough, the notorious no borough, by the way. Yeah, so I was I was there, and then so uh, my aunt she stayed. They stay in Cranbrook. You feel what I'm saying? So I was in between, uh, you know, Northboro, Rush Creek, Ella. I went to Westfield. Mm-hmm. Uh, you graduated? Yeah, about one point. Uh, hey. I hold on to that one point that that was that was you know a big thing, man. N- nigga worked hard for that one point, though. Hey man, the seventy is past. Word it up. I say I I bring it up because it's I got it. I I forgot the teacher name, but I used to I used to get blunted in the morning. I come to school and chop it up with the bull. You know what I'm saying? Just kicking, kicking and shit. And it ended up being those conversations ended up being like, yo, you know, trust. I like it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, because I, I have the power to pass you a failure right now. <laughs> yeah. Word. So yeah, he looked out type shit, and then uh, yeah, so I graduated. Um, I ain't go to college though. Okay. I went straight to uh, you know, you know what niggas do. <laughs> you know what I mean, graduated high, uh, graduated yeah. high school. Go straight to enroll in you know school mean? of hard knocks. Hard knocks. Man. You know uh, where the and niggas, recess is the block. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, and pure ignorance though. Pure ignorance. Complete, complete ignorance. Uh, and, you know, uh, just feeling like, feeling like that was just what needed to happen. Like, that was the next thing. Like, you either went to college or you went to the streets if you wasn't already out there. Sure. Full blood. So, in, in school, like, what kind of student was you? Was you one of them? Hipster kind of students, you know, was like a, a class clown, but just not bad type shit. Or, you know, like, was you one of the motherfuckers that people be thinking like, oh, this nigga don't be doing no love. This nigga, you know, grades is horrible. You know, fuck around, have grades immaculate. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know, or when you want to know, uh, students, you know, real, uh, intensive, if you will, in, in school, you know. Now, I say, I was, uh, <laughs> I think I was, a, I wouldn't say class clown, okay. but I was, I was a little bit of, like, I definitely, I definitely like to laugh. And I definitely was like, you know, uh, finishing, finishing. I f- when I was in class, I finished work yeah. pretty quick. You know what I'm saying? So I did end up like fucking with my partners or, yeah, or we yeah, going, yeah. we, we, we spitting bars, we writing, yeah. you know, that type of shit. Okay. Uh, but I moved around so much, son. You know what I mean? I was never really in a spot long enough to 
really, you know, become nothing, get no, uh, like, so I think because of that, uh, you know, fly fresh, but kind of like if you didn't deal with my circle, I ain't really deal with you, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but the shorties, the shorties was, yeah, I mean, they was digging on a nigga. So yeah. that created that issue of like static with niggas all the time. So, you know, I dealt with that, you know what I mean? Everywhere I went, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that, that, that aspect of it, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I never was, <clears throat> I never was the, 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 like I ain't played sports too much. I played sports for a couple of years. Uh, not here though, but yeah. I played sports for a couple of years in Pennsylvania. So, but I was never the one that was like, I don't know when it always, when it always went down to something at school, some was school related and it was, you know, uh, it would it would be I would I would be the one that was you know dismissed like yo yeah. so we're we're that we're those guys we're the ones whatever you call those it's <laughs> like yo get those guys out of here you know what I mean so at the end of the day you know you graduated facts you know that's the, the highlight. No matter what kind of student you are, kids, at the end of the day, you should graduate. That's it. Yeah, if you're in there, man, you in there, handle your business, man. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this, you know, this is my opinion. <laughs> if you are going to drop out, don't don't wait till your 12th grade year, bro. That's this. I mean, you, you came that far, you know, finish on this day. So, if you are going to drop out, do it, do it early. Don't drop out, but, you know, don't wait till the 12th grade. You know, you know, yeah. So, crazy, man. Yo, shout out to my young boy. Okay. But, um, so, let's, let's, let's get into this name. Trust who? T R never you again, S T. What's the word? What's your mind now, guys? I'm really trying to think that. A lot of times people, you know, get their names off other entities, so to speak, you know, and blame that with. With their you know, style, you know, was 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 this the case? What's your name, or you know, break it down like James Brown for the people? Nah, you know, my papa gave me my name, generally speaking. So, okay. trust who come from my name being trust. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Facts and. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it has multiple meanings, you know what I mean? But for me, it's the, the humbling part of it where it's like, nigga, remember like, yeah, like your trust, like facts, that's a guarantee. But at the same time, don't, don't be more than that. Facts. So it's like trust hope. You know what I'm saying? But that's like personal. But more more outwardly and on a surface level, it's like, you know, it's it's it's, it's there for people to uh make what they need it to be in their own personal uh situations. Yeah, you know, when I first, you know, heard heard the name, I was that's very unique, you know, and, you know, 
these two words put together, these are like color words that people need. Day. Day. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Every, I'm on their mind every day. <laughs> every, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But nah, trust you all, I'm going to fill in there, bro. Appreciate that. So, you know, I'm trying to think shit. I'm just diving in. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, you know, That's in my way. My, my boy got the. Mm-hmm. I got questions yeah. You know what? Alright, let's let's talk about these open houses that you be doing. You know, can you uh, explain to the audience, you know, what, what that's all about? You mean like at the studio? Yeah. Uh yeah, like uh well the first one was well all of them were just to uh create some type of community amongst the greats that seem to be looked over. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Like, cause it's a bunch of dope niggas that never, nobody ever talk about on the surface. Right. But if you, if you listen to the, you know, you keep your head to the streets, niggas names is being mentioned. You know what I'm saying? And I want to create an environment where those names can can like flourish in 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 the art, in the craft, you know what I'm saying? And what it is they do. You see what I'm saying? So with this being the only place to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, they gotta they gotta come here, man. They gotta get here and they gotta actually like lock in. And feel the vibe, stocks. Uh, uh, generally speaking, it's just walk through the doors and kind of like, you know, just feel it. As soon as you walk through the door, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna see it. You're gonna you're gonna understand it too. You know, if you've been if you've been uh, cultivating something in your own brand. Right. You're gonna you're gonna see this place as a as a as a as a hub to where you can hone in on your ideas. Yep, yep. Okay, I got you. I got you. So to those up and coming artists, you know, when you just start to create, you know, this is a place to be. You know, can you give a an address for those that may be interested? Yeah, we at. 8520 Sweetwater Lane. I mean, 8520 Sweetwater Lane. Sweet F60. F like my boy Frank White. 60. Shout out to Nick. You know, I'll be Nick. Man, what? 